all single SEER systems, as this SKS is, the SEER system, the relationship between the SEER and the hammer needs to be positive. By that, we means that it wants to engage deeper rather than push itself out of engagement. Now, over here, we have this little model. We have three different SEER systems and then an example of a trigger job. The first one is neutral. We would not want a neutral system. The neutral system is such that the angle on the hammer coincides with the rotational angle of the sear system. In this case, it's rotational. When we pull the trigger, the hammer neither moves forward or back. It just stays there until the, tr the trigger or sear leaves it and it falls. The next one we have is a negative system. And in this case, the hammer notch slightly. is... I'm going to change the angle of the hammer notch slightly. And I don't have a bunch of exotic stones. And I'm not even going to use all that I have, but here's... And I don't use oil on them. I wash them with lacquer thinner from time to time. I have some really nice trigger pull gauges because they're, to me, more important than the stones. <laughs> but uh, you need to remove some metal and you need to get the surfaces relatively smooth. Okay, I'm going to take this knife edge stone. I like it. And I've chipped it. And I'm going to change the angle of the sear just a little bit. You notice I'm not using some fancy fixture. And unfortunately, I'm a realist. There's no two items in this world exactly alike. And there's no two sears exactly alike. And there's no two hammer sear relationships exactly alike. And as a consequence, your sear will weigh this just for the heck of it. I think it's probably going to be around four pounds. Well, made a liar out of me. It's about 3.3 .3 pounds. This is my tattletale right there. That's where it let off. So it's 15 uh, kilogram and a half or 3.3 .3 pounds. I could lighten that a little bit and I'm going to, by taking out the sear spring, spinning it down, it won't lighten it much. The biggest way to lighten the, the trigger pull weight, of course, is to make it a little touch this here. Always check the safety. The last thing you do after a trigger drop, you check the safety which means you may have to go back and refit safety parts or trigger parts to get the safety to function correctly. But you have to do it. You can't let it out with a bad safety. Yeah. On this particular design, I'm going to assume you know what to do, but if you don't, you would take some off the sear. In fact, I'll get a sear and show you exactly what we do. We have one here. There. See, right here is where the...